Hey everybody, this is Scott from uh, InternetSafetyCenter.com here. Uh, today is going to be kind of one of our t uh, quick tip uh, videos here. Uh, what this video is going to be all about is actually increasing the performance of your computer. You know, we all want a computer that's just running as fast as possible here. We want it to boot up in just a matter of seconds and just keep chugging along like no other. So, there's some simple maintenance things you can do that should be done once a month here to actually keep your computer running at peak performance here. So we're going to look at those today. So the first one we're going to look at is disk cleanup. And to find that, go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, Disk Cleanup. It'll load up here in just a second. If you've never actually run this before, it probably will take a minute or two to actually run here. Okay, so here it is, the disk cleanup here. And what this actually displays is a bunch of files that are on your computer that basically are, are just sitting there, not really being used, taking up space and actually slowing it down. We don't have much on this computer just because this is actually a fresh image on a computer, and so we really haven't installed much on it. So that's why we really don't have anything on it. A lot of times you'll see quite a bit in the temporary internet files. Obviously, recycle bin if you have an empty data. That uh, web client publisher temporary files is another one you'll see a lot of stuff in. What you want to do is basically, if you see a lot of these that are heavily crowded, or you see a lot of a lot of basically files in them, just go ahead and check all of this here. And what you want to do is after you hit check, you just hit OK. And what that'll do is that'll go ahead and actually delete all those files out of there for you. So actually, once you do that, you actually free up quite a bit of space for yourself, and you'll actually get your computer run a little bit quicker. All right. The second thing here is we're going to look at the disk defragmenter. Again, start all programs, accessories, system tools, disk defragmenter. And here's the main screen here. And obviously, you'll see here it'll display your C drive. Uh, we only have an 8 gig hard drive here just because this is a virtual machine and so that's that's the size we wanted to give it. Um, you know most people are going to have something probably two, 300 gigs, something in that range but this is a small one because like I said it's just a virtual machine here. So what you'll hit is analyze here and what it's going to do is going to scan the files on your hard drive. Okay it does tell us we actually should defrag this volume and if you want you can actually view the report. Um, tells you how many the fragments in each file and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you can see it says 206 here, and system volume information. You know, basically, it, it just says the hard drive is just in uh, just heavily fragmented here. So we're going to close here. If you look here, when you see these red marks here, that's bad because that means you have files that's kind of scattered all over the hard drive and everything. And you actually want them as close as possible so as your hard drive reads the data, it can read them as fast as possible. Instead of going over here to get one, then going to another place to get another, you just want them all close. So what you do then is just, you just hit defragment. And basically it will kind of analyze your hard drive here. And then what it will do is actually rearrange the files on your hard drive so they're actually together and they're, actually in, they're quick and easy to read. Now obviously some people were worried about, well, if it moves my files, am I going to lose anything? No, this doesn't actually lose any of your data. It doesn't actually affect the files. So only it does is, like I said, just kind of moves them so that they're closer together and it can actually uh, read them quicker here. We're going to go ahead and hit stop here because we're not going to run this right now. Uh, the reason is is because a lot of times when you run this, it's going to take anywhere between an hour to probably five or six hours, depending on... Uh, how big your hard drive is and how fast your computer is too. So this is one of those things that, you know, just before you go into bed here, you want to actually run. Uh, let it let it defragment overnight while you're asleep. Uh, so when you wake up in the morning, it's completely done here. Because also when you run this, it actually is going to slow your computer down quite a bit while it actually runs. All right. The next thing is we're we're going to look at error checking here. So again, start, and then we're going to my computer this time. You'll see your local C drive here. So you want to right click on that and go down to Properties. And then you go to the Tools tab. And you look for Error Checking. 
and click on check now. And what you want to do is check these two boxes here, where it says automatically fix file system errors, which is kind of like you know, the Windows when it boots, if it's got a, a file that's kind of messed up or maybe causing your computer to boot slow, what Windows XP is designed to do is to actually just take that file and replace it. You know, just replace it with, with the original file so it's actually running at peak performance. And then you, it also will scan your hard drive looking for bad sectors. So then you hit start and then you'll get this little warning message here. Basically all it tells you is that it can't run while you're in Windows and it will actually run next time you actually restart Windows. And so then it tells you, do you want to schedule this disc, uh, disc error, disc check to occur the next time you restart your computer? You want to hit yes to that. Then you hit OK, and we'll close that out. Then the, then the fourth and final thing here to help your computer run a little bit quicker is actually shut down a bunch of the stuff that starts up at the beginning. So what you're going to do is you want to start and run, and you'll type in msconfig. And hit OK. Then you get the system configuration utility box pop up here. And the only tab we're interested in is the startup tab. And what this tab contains is everything that actually starts up when your computer starts. And the more things you actually have in here that are checked, like we have the VMware right here checked, actually the longer time it'll take your computer to, to boot. As you can see, we have like Google Earth and iTunes and stuff over here and Adobe Reader. We went ahead and unchecked all this stuff because we don't want this to start when our when our computer actually starts up. You know, if we need these to actually run, we'll click on them and then it'll run it. But instead of having them load automatically, we do, we don't want that because this, actually this will actually increase your boot time significantly if you've got a ton of stuff in here. And what you can actually do is you can hit disable all here and you can disable it everything. Is it really? Is it going to affect your computer? No, it's perfectly fine to do. Uh, sometimes you'll see some stuff in here that actually say like Microsoft Windows and stuff like that. You know, not a bad idea just to leave those checked. Basically, and then you also see if you you know your antivirus software will also be in here, so make sure you actually don't don't uncheck that too. But everything else, you know, like Adobe Readers, you know, like Google Desktop, Quick Search. You know, iTunes helper. This is this is stuff you don't need when you actually you start your computer. So it's a good thing to go in here. Anything that doesn't involve Microsoft or your antivirus, you can go ahead and uncheck. And then once you do, you just hit OK. And then it says you know you must restart your computer for these changes to come into effect. And then you just you can either exit without restarting or you can actually restart your computer. We're gonna hit exit here. And what I want to show you here. Is the disk cleanup here? Is the uh, sorry the error check when it actually your computer restarts? So we're going to turn this on off and we're going to do a restart of the computer here. I want to actually show you the screen here, so you kind of know what you're looking for. Is when you when you start going a little bit slower, but um, it it really is nice to have here, especially when you're doing videos and stuff like this. So. Alright, still waiting for Windows to boot here. Alright, now here's the screen here. It says uh, checking file system on C. And then it tells you your, your file system is NTFS. And then it says it's going to run. If not, you need to escape to actually cancel it out. So it's got five stages here. So, and you'll see it run here. Obviously, stage one and one, file that file verification was complete now we're in stage two and this actually will go fairly quickly too it's when you kind of get to stages three and four those can actually take a considerable amount of time to actually run again depending on uh, how, how big of a hard drive you have how much stuff you've actually installed on your computer and stuff like that will make a big determination of how long this actually takes so let's just let this run here Index verification complete, so we've done that. Check this verifying security descriptors, good. Now uh, we've got the first three stages here, now we're on stage four. Uh, this is the verifying the file data, this is actually the longest one. This is what definitely will take the longest. Um, 
what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna pause the video because this is gonna take a couple minutes to actually run and then we'll pick the video back up once we're kinda getting close to Windows here. So here everybody uh, we've now actually booted back into Windows here and you will get this pop-up box here it's system config configuration utility boxes stating that you actually made some changes to the Windows startup you just want to check that box that says don't show me again and hit OK so as you can see we had some just really quick and simple things you can actually do to help actually increase the performance of your computer and keep it running at top condition here so you know if you do those steps and you do it at least once a month you know run the disk cleanup run the disk defragmenter and run the air checking once a month you'll actually keep your computer running at peak performance well I hope you have a good day thanks